are now standing on the bridge at the first gate of the 16 locks of the Marple Flight. Looking at our boat. We finally got staked in. Oh, that's quite all right. <laughs> This is what it looks like when you open paddle A. This is what it looks like when you open up paddle B. That's why you don't open up paddle B until paddle A is filled up the lock halfway. Are you crumbling? Hello. How are you? Hi. Good morning. Down there is lock four. This is lock five. We're now opening the paddles for. Linda's opening the paddle. There's Linda. And that's lock six down there. Four, five, and six of the marble flight. I missed what I was going to film. I was going to film the water coming out to top off way to another lock. Four and five. This is lock eight of the Marple flight. That's a nice view with the valley and tennis courts at the bottom and Marple up on top there. A part of Marple. The next lock you have to go around the bend and physically the boat goes under the bridge, but we have to cross the street to get to the towpath on the other side. They're searching the towpath side to get to lock number nine. This is bridge 17. Last night you walked up here to dinner. Quite a long walk, and it was actually it was really pretty good. Steep had steep. This is a graphic depiction of what happens when you open the speed. And that's why you don't open paddle B until the lock is half full from opening paddle A. What's interesting about this flight is it's got both paddles on the same side of the canal, so you don't have to go tromping over there and back and forth and all that kind of stuff. So it's really pretty handy to have these things. That's paddle A connected to the ground there. And that's paddle B on the gate itself. This is lock nine of the Marple Flight. Very nice mill here. And there is Linda doing the one lock, the one paddle. A little bit odd. We had to stand in the middle of the street back here and open up <laughs> the gates because it goes right out over the sidewalk into the street when you have them open. Kind of strange. 
We have a cute house there. Old house. Nice stuff in the window. Nice view of the canal and the mill. It's a picture, this is a picture of the Lockside Mill in Marple. Very attractive. Actually, all of this is quite attractive. So you swing around here, you have a nice little babbling brook right back there. Very nice. Block 9. Past the mill. This is Block 10. And down at the very end there is Block 11. For Steve. I've lost count of which lock this is, but it is a nice view. Go around here. We're still on the marble flight. We go there. That was eight. That was nine, ten. I don't know what lock this is. But it's a nice view. Once again, I'll pan around the other way. This is the last lock of the Marple flight. We are just clearing it out. We just had a very big scare. This golden retriever jumped into our lock, not into the canal, into the lock, and got smooshed up against the side of the boat. He felt landed on the top and skidded off and slammed on the side. So we just performed a rescue mission and it looks like his paw is injured, but the person who owns the dog said that she is a nurses or a veterinarian's nurse she's taking her right away to the vet clinic now we are trying to negotiate around this bend this is marple junction and we are junctioning into this right here onto the macclesfield canal i don't know some other canal we'll see how alan maneuvers this I'm now going to tie up here at the junction and go grocery or something.